Hello, this is Debbie with Deanne's Designs. Just going to bring you a briefie here of my... I've been reworking my dining room. And right now I have a very large blank spot right there that i got to try to fill. So I'm going to try to bring you through the room a little bit and let you kind of see where we're at. Here's my fall table. I've still got my ancestors silver setting out there. I need to figure out a place to put it to. Um, this right here, this is a Dollar Tree leaf and then this is a Dollar Tree pumpkin and the little bells I found in my stash. Not sure where I got them at. I just went ahead and attached them onto there. But And a little raffia bow. I'm going to take it off for you real quick. That's a little Kroger pumpkin. It's cute as can be. But uh, this is what I put on the wire it already comes with wire on it so I just attached some wooden beads I had and now I can throw it as a hook around the pumpkin and this is um, this pumpkin is my little chicken wire pumpkin now I've, I got it at uh, home goods and uh, loved it just fell in love with it each year I try to get one item anyway just one item that I can add to my fall collections and then these are little uh, Dollar Tree pumpkins that I put together last year made it into a topiary type of thing this is a Kroger's pumpkin on the big orange one I think Autumn Greetings I believe that was a Dollar Tree or Dollar General one of those two years ago that I put together and then we have my my little jar, I just love that little jar. I forgot where I got it at, but I love the color of it. Anyway, that's kind of how this table is not completed, but it is starting to come along. I think this table over here is completed. And, uh, and you can see this is just a little pumpkin over there in the corner and into a candy dish. And there's my wall hanging. Okay. And then I'm going to take you back in here to the... Uh, to the hallway. That's my curio. I have little pumpkins over here. They're going to go outside when I do the porch. I haven't done the porch yet. But Liz, Amara, she's just wanting to know my placement pillows. Now this one's going to end up in this chair, but I've got to hang these pictures. I can't hang these pictures until I figure out what I'm putting in that blank spot. It's just one end after the other. But the other one ended up here in my hallway, and this is a captain's chair for my dining room outfit. And I just threw one of the pumpkin pillows. It's a little fall pillow, really. They're placemats that you buy at the Dollar Tree. I had some material, I hooked it together, and then I stuffed it with some polyfill that I had upstairs in my craft room. This is my little fall setting that it's going to set with, and it, it just kind of blends. It just looks very fallish like. That crate down there is something that was given to us by uh, my husband's sister and uh, her husband probably close to 30 years ago now and I just kind of hung on to it. It's an old Budweiser crate and I thought that would be kind of nice to maybe set out an arrangement on. These uh, little pumpkins down here, they're just out of Kroger's. <laughs> I have a little Dollar Tree florals that are down in the, that's a um, old bed spring that I've got a pumpkin tied up onto the top of me. Uh, and then down in here, we're going to have a pumpkin tier from Dollar Tree Pumpkins. I believe they were last year's Dollar Tree Pumpkins. This big, beautiful mom. I just love this thing. It came as is um, for $14, actually, at Kroger's. They had them on sale. So I thought, I'll pick one up. Yep, I'm glad I did. And then we have this little sign here is from the Dollar Tree. It was missing it's something in the center so I just put a sunflower, an orange type of sunflower in there. And it it works just fine. And then this one here is that's a Simply Blessed one. Now that I got out of Big Lots two, three years ago. I've always enjoyed him. He always comes out with me every fall. I got my shutters. I've got another wreath I've made to put into the shutter area. Then we have, um, that's a gourd. I, I picked the gourd up at a, um, it was some sort of craft fair I was at, probably about five, six years ago. 
He comes out every year for me. Now that one, that uh, container there, she's going to end up with something. I just haven't figured it out yet. Uh, that one got some fall lights put into it. That piece of stained glass I got from a yard sale for, oh my goodness, maybe five years ago. That's my fall brush I put together for this year's fall. And then uh, here's my logs. I purchased the logs at Walmart. Now those doing things, there's three birch logs and they're $10, you know. I thought it was kind of expensive, but I splurged, went ahead and did it. And then I put my Dollar Tree products <laughs> on into here. And uh, they'll light up. This bag is a bag that I made. I made out of material. And there is a YouTube video on it if, if you'd want to catch on how I make the bags out of material. And uh, then I put some Scrabble words on it. And that ruffle that I got around the top of it, um, it comes white. But I went ahead and, and got some paint. It's um, kind of a goldish, brownish, metallic y type paint and painted the ruffles and attached them to the top of the bag. Um, that heart is a burlap heart that I made. And then I just had some um, cheesecloth and some trim, some pearls, put it together on that end. It kind of falls in pretty good with the fall decorations, I thought. Um, yep, these flowers, I don't know. I've been collect. I collect, there's some wheat stem in there too. I collect this stuff a lot and just for years and then I'll pull it out when I want it um, there's another wreath that I've made that wreath holder and the other wreath holder they're from uh, Dollar General they're I think they're three dollars I think is what they cost I grabbed the last two out of my Dollar General so maybe you still have them if you want any and then we have the welcome wreath that welcome is also from the Dollar Tree and uh, the hoop, the embroidery hoops, oh, you should pick them up at the thrift store. And I just make whatever with them. So, so far, that's where I am at with some of this. And I wanted to share it. And I thought I would share, I really wanted to share it with Liz because she was asking, you know, what I did with my pillows. So, I don't know, Liz. At this point, this one's just, he's, he will end up in here more than likely. But, I mean, things can always change, but he could end up in here, and I think he should. But I got to do those pictures, man. I have got to get those pictures hung, and I, that means I got to I got to find something for that blank space. That is so the rearranging of furniture. This is what it causes me. That's okay. That means I get to go shopping. Okay. Thanks for your time. I will set this up, and thanks, Liz, for asking about the pillow. She's, uh, she's going to be fun to make. If you make one, would you please let me see it? I would appreciate it so much. Okay, I'll let you guys go. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.